Okay, Anthony Garcia with Verizon. What we're going to look at today is Spark Hybrid Call Aware. So, Spark Hybrid Call Aware. And remember, we have a few things going on with Spark Hybrid. We have a call, as far as voice video, we have Call Connect and Call Aware with Spark Hybrid today. Again, Call Aware. What is Call Aware? Before we do the demo, let me just explain it. Got a phone over here. Let's say we have two phones. These are connected to Verizon, UCAS, or On-Prem Call Manager. Okay, and then we have a Spark Client. Let's see how we're going to draw a Spark Client. I'll just draw I don't know, a little laptop here. Two laptops. And we have these are Spark Clients. And those are connected up to cloud as well internet and then over here we have spark service all right now spark hybrid remember glues the Verizon UCAS and the spark service kind of together all right and, and particularly it glues a user so this is Jack Sparrow right here and let's say this is Elizabeth Swan those are their business phones those are the the phone is sitting on their desk. <coughs> they're not Spark registered. They're UCAS registered. They could be any one of a myriad of phones that don't support uh, uh, Spark registration. These are just regular, you know, phones. Uh, and, and, and they are registered to call manager or Verizon UCAS in this case. Okay, and then we have the, over here, we have um, the Spark clients. And again, this is Jack Sparrow's desktop and Elizabeth Swan's desktop. And they're both running Spark clients. One's running, as you'll see in a minute, the Spark desktop client. One's running the web application client. So what are we going to do? We're going to see what happens when someone calls or two of these people either call each other. Well, first, we're going we're gonna to attempt to call between these two. So let's say Elizabeth is going to call Jack. And when those two, when, when Jack picks up his phone right here, we're going to see what happens over here, and we're going to see what Spark Aware is. Okay, so let's get to it. Now, before we start the demo, I'll tell you right now that the uh, running things, it's just better for me to run things in, in, in virtual machines here. It's um, too much effort and too much video stuff to, to uh, um, uh, do two desktops or two laptops and show this. It just shows better here. Now, with that said, the trouble with showing voice video in in um, in virtual machines is the client always crashes. It's just you know sometimes it doesn't. Most of the time, you know, eight out of ten times it crashes. <laughs> so uh, pay no attention to that. I can guarantee you on a real laptop, or a real a real machine, it doesn't crash. So we'll just kind of go past that stuff, and, and I'm just warning you up front. So, uh, I had some things going on here. Let's just get, I'm just going to remove that link. I don't want to, I don't want to have anything to do with these two users right now. So I'm going to start clean. Okay. We're going to leave room. That's a one-to-one -one room, by the way. Um, and okay. So we got this going on on your uh, video. You see the two, um, phones. So the phone on the right, Elizabeth Swan, the phone on the left is Jack Sparrow again on the screen. The, the desktop on the right is Liz Swan right here, and the desktop on the left is Jack Sparrow. Okay, so let's see what happens. Let's call from Elizabeth to Jack on their enterprise-connected UCAS phone. Okay, I'm just going to hit you back. So if I'm already ready for this. You see this phone is ringing. I'll pick that phone up. Video. So they're, they're 9971 with video, so there's video going between them. Um, uh, on those enterprise phones now if you look at our desktops now you can see something happen here and this is the spark aware stuff now you see over here on uh, jack running the spark client uh there was a one-to-one -one room created over here and you can see uh, uh or what looks like to be a one-to-one -one room and then uh, on liz's um web client using all the cool stuff with web rtc and stuff uh, something happened here too, and if you look here, see it says Elizabeth Swan. If there's a call with Elizabeth Swan, and, and um, you're using your desk phone, okay. And over here, kind of something similar. 
Jack Sparrow. You're on the phone with Jack Sparrow. There's a call in progress. So this speaks to the call awareness. So this is what this, the term spark hybrid call aware. It's aware uh, that this thing is going on. So uh, so it's what? Uh, if it's aware, you know what's what's cool about that? Where well, the cool thing is that I don't have to do anything. I don't have to start WebEx or something like that. If I want to share my screen, so let's say Elizabeth wants to share her screen uh, on on uh, maybe a presentation or something like that. All she needs to do is this little icon is pretty uh, self-explanatory. We can click there, and we are sharing our desktop. You can see right here, sharing our desktop. Now, over here, we'll click over here, and now hopefully this doesn't crash. And there we go. And you can see, and I can pop this out bigger right here, uh, but I just want you to see that uh, you can see that crashed already over there. But you can see where we got the video uh, or the screen share uh, over here. And again, like I said, these things are virtual machines. You know, voice video doesn't work real well. It crashes all the time, but I've tested this on laptops. Nothing's wrong with it. It's just uh, easier to see side by side on the screen right here. So that's it. That's call aware. Um, you can do it the other way too. So if we were going the other way um, um, over here, she could um, um, click, uh, there was an icon right here that was similar to, and she could click right here and share the screen as well. Okay, so that's it. That's Call Aware. Thanks for watching.